Okay, I'm reloaded. Big Dappuccino here. This is going to be show and tell number 24. First, I want to get this out the way. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers and to all the sons. Uh, say Happy Father's Day and appreciate your fathers while they're, they're in your lives. You know how people, subscribers of all ages, which I like about this hobby. So, from the very young to people who are slightly older. So... I hope everybody's enjoying your weekend. I had some time off for a change, so I had some time to go out and do a little more hunting. And I had some stuff ordered, so let's get into it. Stab lunch and shot, everything looking good. The lights looking good. Everything's a go. Okay. Let's get into it. Monday, I got in uh, something from Amazon. Uh, something I've been trying to find for a while. And it's a uh, uh, Johnny Lightning. They call it Import Heat. And it's also a Miho exclusive. I, I've been hearing about Miho. I've been trying to do some research on exactly who the Miho company is and everything. They work with a few different companies, so that's very interesting. And I got this a '98 Honda. Can it get it focused a little bit? '98 Honda Civic custom it's supposed to be a tight R I guess you have to see it with a see can we see where the steering wheel is can't see it through the blister if the steering wheel is on the left it's just a regular Honda Civic if the steering wheel is on the right it is a tight R yeah I busted this blister wide open I was excited about this car. Let's see where the steering wheel at. Well, I guess it's just a regular Honda Civic. It's not. It's not a, a Type R. Because if it was Type R, the steering wheel will be on the right. But as you can see, I like that. It's got a different color wheel on one side. So excited to get this car. Only thing I don't like about this car is the headlight. That Honda Civic is supposed to have clear like headlights, and you're supposed to be able to see the indicators through it. I think they tried to show that up there that it's been customized somewhat, but man, I don't like it like that. That's not how the Honda Civic's supposed to look. So, it's got this carbon fiber hood type thingy. It's a cool color combination, yellow. I got into this car because uh, a Forza Horizon 2, the video game. And I had a tune for a Honda and a design, and it was yellow. And ever since then, I think first one was lime green though i've been into this car because in real life car is too small for me but in the video game it was cool it was a cool little car and i'm rambling so let's move on to uh wednesday i guess i should look at the back before we go to wednesday let's get you a look at the back uh, it really doesn't list any other models, so I'm sorry about that. And let's go on to Wednesday. Wednesday, I went ahead and got a, uh, 
something ordered something else from Amazon and it came in and uh it's this Volkswagen classic beetle from Green Lightning Green Lightning Hollywood series and it's supposed to be from the movie Friday the thirteenth. I think the original Friday the thirteenth. Not the reboot that they had in the two thousands. I think it's a late 60s or either early 70s Beetle. That's cool because I usually don't get European cars. I usually stick with American muscle. So I made kind of the uh, effort to make sure that I got an import, Japanese import. Well, really, car from Japan that is made over here. I was hoping it had the right steering wheel, but it doesn't. And, of course, a Volkswagen. It's a cool-looking Beetle, man. It's probably the best-looking Beetle I got. The only thing I got over here is Herbie to compare it to. And Herbie is pretty big. You know, they did a good job on 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 it. And I think I have a matchbox beetle. I should have brought that out, but oh well. Moving on. Let's get into uh Thursday. Thursday, I went ahead and got this Martin. Excuse me. I went ahead and got this Martin uh, Camaro from Green Light. And it's Camaro Honor and Valor. It's a limited edition. It was several Martin Camaros I could have got. I think one of them was from the series Hawaii Five-0, I want to say. But... I decided to get this one because the price was right. And it's a it's a SS. Just giving you all the different things going on with this car. But I guess the real car there was only a hundred made. I don't think there was only a hundred made of these, but it still says a limited edition. And it benefits the armed forces, so that's cool. It benefits the families, if I'm correct. It's pretty cool. I'm breaking the mode. Okay, so that's that's Thursday. Yesterday, Friday, uh, I had some errands to run, so I went to a shopping center, and there's a, a a Target there. So I went and got picked up some main lines. I think I didn't have. So let's get into that. <clears throat> Sorry for the camera jumping. I know it jumped a little bit. So we got this here matchbox. 70 dots and 510 rally which i already have one of these i think it's yellow or white it's cool but once you had stuff like this more realistic um 510s you kind of see stuff like this and you kind of go man i give you a probably a a B or C for effort, but you're not touching this. <laughs> There's no way you're touching that. So, and have some from Green Light too. So, I think one from Green Light a five ten. So, it's. I mean, it's cool. It's the main line. It's something to add to the collection.
Moving on. I'm just tossing the main lines on the floor. I'm sorry. Just to get them out the way. Um, Hot Wheels. I got this uh, Volkswagen K4 Racer. And they got another Volkswagen series, apparently. I don't have this one. I had to warm up to this design. And even though it, it's kind of, to me, overrated because it don't have headlights. I do love the interior compliment. The, the interior is yellow and the outside is black. And, of course, it's moon eyes. So, I like moon eyes. So, I think everybody does. And this is one of ten. Well, this new series, I guess. Next, I got this uh, Porsche 917 LH. Which I have a couple of them. Right there. With the Golf liveries, I think. And golf? Hmm. I think the Golf liveries. And... Uh, I think I have a, a two others. One is like dark blue. And one is dark blue. Oh, this is cool. It's red with the black. Gray. It's kind of cool. Yeah, like grayish. I guess it's matte, but it looks close to gray wheels. This is from the HW Race Day Series. It's a pretty cool model, man. Pretty cool. And I think I don't have this one. I think I have a black one. This is a 69 Dodge Charger 500. Man, that's pretty cool. But like I said before, I have even mainline charges that's better than this one. With tail lights and everything on. So it's from the Rod Squad. It's 9 of 10. Mm, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. This is a main line. Then we got this Matchbox. Um, O2 Hummer. To H2 SUV concept. Wow, I thought it was a Hummer. First generation. Must be extended. I thought Hummer 2 was kind of small. No headlights. Back in the day, the Hummer H2 was the jump. You, you had one of these. You, you, was, you had it going on. Yeah, what's well, not said is that this is basically General Motors. Because General Motors bought the Hummer uh, name. And they made the Hummer H2 and I think the Hummer H3. The Hummer H1 is very rare. Oh, it's Matchbox. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <sighs> Next, we got a, a a matchbox, and this is a Chevy Colorado Extreme. Six two thousand sixteen matchbox. At least they put that emblem up there. I think they attempted to do some headlights. Hmm. Yeah, they attempted to do some headlights. Oh, they got tail lights too. Oh, they did a little justice. I think scale ain't all that. There ain't no way this truck is this small. It looks very compacted. I guess they do that so it fits in a blister, but oh well. <sighs> Something to add to the collection. I'm gonna add. Uh, this is the Mazda 91 Mazda MX 
Fire Miata from Hot Wheels, part of the Speed Graphics series. I think this is has Ra Ryu on the side because it's I think it's Ryu Asada. I think that's his name. The who designed this. Either he designed it or it was inspired by him. He might own a Miata. But I know Ryo, Ryu Azada is one of the Hot Wheels designers. Pretty much involved with JDM. In fact, him and June I May, I think, are like good friends. And June I May was the guy who's in charge of, if you like the Datsun, um, all the nostalgia car stuff, the Mazda RX-7s, the, uh, the Datsun 510 wagon, all that. Those were all his designs. And I think he worked, Ryu Asada worked right beside him. It's a pretty cool uh, joint, man. This is cool. No tail lights, though. They put them indicators in. It's got indicators on the side, though, and in the front, in the back, too, with no tail lights. Lose a point, and it's a left, it's a left hand drive, so it's it's a U.S. model. Yeah, in Japan. The Miatas were basically called MX-5s. Over here, we call they they were branded as Miatas. So now they just call them MX-5s. I think. Usually, MX-5 is like the uh, the high end import, the high end import board version. Okay, next we got a Hot Wheels. This is Volkswagen Caddy. From the same, probably, Volkswagen series. This is the 6 or 10. It has an outside oil cooler. Hmm. It's an interesting design, but oh well. It's a main line. At least they put Volkswagen in the back outline. Could use some headlights and tail lights. I could see how this could be, become a car culture too. If they do another shop truck series, I think I don't know if that was in that shop truck series. Okay, now this is part two of Friday. This is why, and I say this to all collectors: you always need to be aware of your surroundings, and when you're on the pegs experienced peg hunter man you look all around you i was getting ready to walk off from uh the hot wheels display because the car culture it wasn't nothing really under pegs in the car culture section some told me first something told me to look around them pegs and hint, hint behind the disney car cultures and all that I found I found a couple of silhouettes. I seen silhouettes that I already had, but I looked in the Disney car culture, and behind one of those was this Nissan Skyline silhouette. One of the super silhouettes. Uh, car culture series, and this is one of the cars I was missing. I don't have mine on display right now. I think I put them up. And, um... I'm missing this and the Mazda. The Mazda is the one that everybody wants. I thought it was going to be this one. So, I have the other three. So, now I have the fourth now all I need is the Mazda. Which is going to be like a needle on a haystack. Might have to order it online. That's if they're selling it like that. 
Most people are getting slick and selling the whole series. And they're charging an arm and a leg. They're doing it with the Fast and the Furious series is too. Open track. Doing the same thing. And I'm only missing one car out of the open track series, and that's the Acura GT version. GT, well, the NXS GT version. This is smooth, man. I wish I had a Nissan out, the Nissan R30 to compare it to. I like the wheels. I like everything about it, man. And then it's got that Basasuku type styling. Man, this thing is cool. Oh. Okay, part two of the story I just told you. Always be aware of your surroundings. I was about to walk off again because I got this. I'm like, okay, I got a pretty good hole. I'm going to walk off. Because I had the main lines and oh, six or seven main lines. And I found car culture. I'm like, I'm good. That's a pretty good hole. I'm going near the end of the uh, display or die cast display over there where the uh, Tonka trucks and stuff is. I look down. I see this. So that means either I don't know if someone... Decided just to put it back at the last minute. That means it was probably the other one up there too. And I'm missing, as you see, I had a JDM Legend one. So the one I'm missing is now it's the Datsun 510. People are selling this for arm and a leg. They're selling this for almost $30 online. I've seen it for $30. Between $30 to $40 online. I think $30 or $40. Maybe $25. The rig is, is a fantasy casting. It looks very realistic though. But the car is based on a real car. The 66 Supernova. That thing is bad. And you know I'm a Chevy fanatic, so. Yeah, man. I don't know how to make room. Something, something might have to go up. <laughs> that M2 might have to. That M2 double uh, lift. That might have to be put away. And debut this here 66. In the next video, man. As you can see, I, I have busted the blister, man. I busted the blister. I took this thing out, man. I had to look at it. Man. What can I say, man? Show and tell. Number uh, 24, man. We showing a little love to the die cast. Uh, I'm going to end this right here, man. I'm going to show you. Show the cars from the last holes. That's the Texaco D100 truck from Green Light. What else we had? Oh yeah, that's the that's the six Deuce Impala. Looking real good over there. Of course, the Fast and the Furious cars I already got them right there. The S14 and the Monster RX-7. Let me have something else. What's that Ford in there? What's the one? Ford? What's the Ford Custom? I think that was there too. That's the Ford 67 Ford Custom. <sighs> Man. I don't think the Chevys. I think I already did them. So... That's basically it, man. We're showing a little love to that die cast. Big Dappuccino. This is uh, Sean Town number 24. Thanks to all the subscribers. 
please leave some feedback if you uh have something to say please now it's good to get views but sometimes i want to see feedback see what you're feeling what you're not feeling uh kind of help me to see how i can trim up the channel a little bit uh until next time uh show a little love to the diecast peace